गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम अवर सिलेबस दैट इज बायोगैस एंड हाउ इज बायोगैस इज जनरेटेड बट बिफोर एंटरिंग इन टू द बायोगैस वन क्वेश्चन कम्स इन माइंड व्हाई वी आर थिंकिंग अबाउट बायोगैस दैट इज व्हाई बायोगैस डू यू नो दिस बायोगैस इज ए रिन्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी why this renewable source of energy comes in our mind you all know that the petrol diesel coal etc are called non renewable source of energy it is a non renewable source of energy because it can be exhausted after certain amount of time the total stock of this non renewable source of energy in the earth is limited so it can be totally exhausted after a few years so we need fuels in our daily life to continue several works so we have to think alternative source of energy this alternative source of energy is biogas in village biogas is sometimes called gobar gas <clears throat> what is biogas biogas is generated mainly by the anaerobic oxidation of biomass what is anaerobic oxidation anaerobic oxidation is the chemical change of biomass in absence of oxygen what is biomass biomass are like those human and animal extract cow dung uh, like cow dung also industrial and agricultural waste etc so we can say that biomass biogas is generated uh, by by the anaerobic oxidation of uh, human and animal extract uh, industrial and agricultural wastes and generates gases like methane carbon dioxide hydrogen nitrogen H2S that is hydrogen sulfide. These two are the major component, and these are said the impurities present there. About seventy-five percent of methane gas is present in the biogas. So, first discuss about how this biogas plant is generated. How this biogas is generated in the plant. First of all. <coughs> this plant consists of mainly three parts that is mixing tank that is mixing tank digestion tank and gas tank this is mixing tank this is the digestion tank and this is the gas tank this is how the gas is collected what is the role of mixing tank in mixing tank the cow dung and water is mixed cow dung and water is mixed is called slurry actually if you take 25 kg of cow dung then you will have to take 25 liter of water it is found that if you maintain this composition the maximum yield is obtained maximum yield is obtained so this slurry so produced by mixing these two is passed through the inlet pipe and reaches the digestion tank in the digestion tank the main chemistry takes place and the gas in the digestion tank bacterial anaerobic decomposition by the bacteria is takes place and gas is generated and collected in the gas tank which is connected to the outlet pipe and the pipe is also connected by a gas valve and we can use the generated gas according to our need in respective position this biogas plant is also has another component that is overflow tank overflow tank that means overflow you have an idea that if the slurry material is reaches here it starts overflowing indicating that the tank is filled this is the uh, idea about and components of the biogas plant we will focus on the main chemistry that is taking place inside the digestion tank in the digestion tank mainly three types of bacterial decomposition takes place first the hydrolysis bacterial hydrolysis takes place the here that is cow dung that is an organic compound 
and we, we call that the materials present in the cow dung is some uh, insoluble polymer, insoluble organic polymers. These insoluble organic polymers undergo hydrolysis by the bacteria and forms soluble sugar and amino acids. Soluble sugar and amino acids. These amino acid and sugar further undergo bacterial treatment and that bacteria is called acidogenic bacteria. In presence of acidogenic bacteria, these compounds are converted to form ammonia, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and organic acids and organic acids, mainly acetic acid mainly acetic acid mainly acetic acid next methanogens takes to play starts to play its role methanogens are the microorganism which produces methane gas when carbon dioxide when methanogens acts on carbon dioxide and hydrogen it forms methane gas CH4 and water vapor and water vapor and water vapor. So this is the chemistry taking place inside the biogas plant. This gas so produced is highly this gas so produced can produce high amount of energy when burned in presence of air oxygen that is when this methane gas is burned in presence of air it form carbon dioxide gas and water vapor water vapor carbon dioxide gas and water vapor so let me balance it uh, 2H2O Two. So that is balanced. Now it is balanced. And energy is also produced. And energy, this energy, by using this energy, we can cook food in our house home. So this methane gas, when reaches our kitchen and burns in presence of oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Utilizing this energy, we can cope. So, this is our topic for today. Uh, we will come with another interesting topic in the upcoming days. So, thank you today. Have a nice day.